Hello, my friends. So, in this next video, we'll be uh, splitting some uh, responsibilities between the Node.js files. Okay, so we'll, we'll be creating modules, uh, one for each uh, single service type, right? Uh, next, we'll be just uh, in keep improving and uh, we will we'll create a simple HTTPS uh, server to uh, be used as a safe requester to uh, external APIs. So you can just uh, get into how do you create this type of uh, server using Node.js natively. Okay, so let's dive. I will create a some simple files right here. Okay, the first one will be handlers.ts. We, we will hold our handlers. The second one will be helpers.ts because we have some helper. Uh, we have, I, I guess we have one helper only that is the body parser. So now we will just generate uh, more of them later, but uh, to now we have one. Uh, we can just create a router.ts which will uh, hold our router. We can just create also our interfaces.ts, which will take care of our interfaces. Um, and I'll just create a, another folder, which, which will be called HTTPS. This is not mandatory. This is only for organization purposes, right? It's a personal preference. And inside this folder, I will just create a certificate that yes okay this will be used later for our https server uh, generation okay so let's start uh, splitting the code the first thing that i will just be moving uh, it will be the uh, the handlers okay we have some handlers right here which is the handle route we should export this guy let me check if we need to export anything else. We should export our router, our interfaces, because we are just going to make them uh, isolated in other modules. Okay. So we'll save and it, it will just mess everything on the, on the live compiler, but don't worry that we, it will be fixed in, in just a minute. Okay. Okay, the handle route, we can uh, now just fix all the missing imports and it will just be better, right? So let's uh, export our interfaces to the interface uh, module. And we should uh, also fix uh, the missing imports from this guy, which will uh, improve this. Now it has uh, broke some stuff right here because we are uh, dynamically uh, removing stuff, okay? So the interfaces and the handlers are kind of solved. So the next thing that we should care about is our uh, router. So our router should be removed right here from our main and we, uh, Surprisingly, need to add all the missing imports. Yeah. Okay. So uh, the main.ts, we have, um, let me check if we have some other interface. Okay, we have a handler that was not being moved. So this handler is moved so we have to move also our body parser to our helpers okay and this handle valid method we should be imported also and now we have uh, only our uh, HTTP server uh, self-scoped inside our main. It's uh, much better. Okay. So what we should do uh, here, we should do a, a quick fix of this and uh, add all the missing imports. And the 
and voila, the, the, the compiler is uh, back with us again. So we have split um, the files, so uh, we can just move on in a very in a more organized manner. Okay, so now I'll be uh, kind of working in two tabs right here because we uh, we create an interfaces and uh, handlers in other modules to be imported and use it inside uh, the other files. Okay, so now I'm going to the interface. Uh, uh, to the interface module and I'll be creating a very simple interface right here which is called I certificate data. Why does I need to create this? Because we will be creating an HTTPS server. HTTPS server demands a self-signed certificate. Okay, demand a certificate that will kind of sign with some generated keys that uh, your request is safe from that origin so uh, another safe uh, servers will kind of accept communication with this server that you have built and all this communication between the two will be uh, made under cryptography okay so it will depend from uh, which uh, it, cryptography is generated in the the moment that you use to generate your uh, your certificate with OpenSSL. In our case, we'll be using the SHA-256 uh, cryptography uh, algorithm, and we will generate the RSA type of uh, certificate. Okay, so let's move on. We'll have two simple props right here, which will be of type buffer. Okay, one is the cert, and the other it will be the key. Why buffer? because uh, we'll gen generate a self uh, sign of certificate it will be two files okay two files with uh, uh, cryptographic content so uh, these files will be uh, read in execution time with uh, file system lib okay and this uh, will be passed as a buffer to uh, our HTTPS uh, server creation uh, method, okay? So this, uh, I need only to create this HTTPS server. I will just import uh, the HTTPS module, okay? It has uh, a method with the same name that uh, we had in this server right here, but we should uh, create an alias uh, to avoid confusion and mis misunderstanding between both of them. Okay, so you see we have the previous one that is this uh, HTTP, and this guy that we created is the HTTPS server. Okay, so uh, this guy accepts two uh, two arguments. The first one will be the certificate data which we haven't created yet, but we'll create in a moment. And the second one will be a similar method, which will uh, only uh, receive the incoming message and the response writer. Okay. So uh, this guy right here, what uh, exactly is this guy? This guy is, um, is that object uh, that implements this, this interface right here. Okay, so I need to just create this guy to fulfill this uh, this place. So that's why I have created this certificate.ts. This is this certificate.ts will need to import uh, file system lib stringify, please. And I'll just uh, get the method called uh, read file sync. Okay, read file sync because we need to uh, to be executed in the exact moment of the of the the, the running time. I don't want it to to use the, a read file that will return a promise to me. So it's uh, it it uh, we should be waiting to to the callback to. Uh, and we can just uh, get the risk of getting an undefined. Okay, so yeah, 
this red file sync um, will be written from our folder that will be created in a moment for our certificate data. Okay. We'll create a very simple folder called security. Okay, security. Uh, this will contain a file that is called rack.conf. This rack.conf contains instructions and descriptions that will be used uh, with OpenSSL generation of the self signed certificate. Okay, so moving forward, this uh, certificate file. We'll, we should import also one other uh, lib from node, which we call the path. Why we call this? This path has a join method, which kind of joins paths. In this case, okay, I would just uh, be join uh, the their name that is this current file uh this, it, this is a global node.js uh, variable okay this their name is, uh, um, passes the the regular path of this file okay so we should concatenate this with uh the path for the certificate uh, the certificate folder right here that we generate on security. Okay, so we should uh, go up two levels and uh, enter the security folder, and we should look for a file that's called cert.pem. Why I have created this just to show you uh, a little uh, reverse engineering of this uh, certificate data construction. Okay, it will implement I certificate data and it will have the cert prop and the key prop. Okay, so the cert prop, okay, I, I'll invoke the read file sync method and I will pass this guy, uh, not yet, I will pass inside the scope, I'll pass this guy. Okay, so this will return me a buffer of this lecture for this cert.pen. And I'll just copy it, this uh, this line, I'll duplicate this and I'll call it key and I'll call this cert.key. So it's kind of solved and I'll just need to import uh, const. I just need to export the, the file. And the certificate data, it should now be just uh, search it again and we'll, it will just resolve. And inside interfaces, we should check right here. Uh, module interfaces, certificate.ts. Hmm, yeah, it was just uh, an unsaved file, okay? So, uh, right now we have uh, created a certificate configuration that will be reading from the certificate folder, okay? So now we create, uh, we are creating an HTTPS server which receives the certificate data and this incoming request. So, uh, and what about now? I should do all this again, handle everything from here? No, we should be smarter enough to just uh, reuse this code and don't repeat ourselves, all right? So I will just create a function that we called handle request. process okay this guy will be a void return in a void so it returns nothing okay and this guy receives our request which is of incoming message and our response which is server response 
and this guy will only do this processing. All right. So now what we should do inside these two scopes, we should go here and do a handle request process and pass our request and response. So it's this guy is handling for us. And inside this guy, we'll do the same, regularly the same. Handle request process and pass the request and response because um, the certificate data is a uh, one uh, single provision that we pass on the uh, method signing. So inside the this block scope, we just can pass and do as it's done normally. And I can just actually uh, put this inside the handlers. So we can clean this uh, more. So we can just export this guy right here. And we should like uh, fix our missing imports as we were doing. And for this guy, we should only uh, be fixing the imports. So this uh, This should be running in exactly the same manner. This will run, not yet, because we need to uh, send it to listen for something, okay? I would just be smart and uh, take advantage of what I have already done. It's just changing the HTTP port to HTTPS port and change this guy to HTTPS server, okay? So you have, you can see that we have a lot of graded dependencies. So we are not an import in this guys uh, anymore. And I'll just create something a little better uh, to us, right? So for now, it's uh, it's better. So it's like. Uh, split it between modules. So it's more sanitized, it's more, uh, it's more clean. So uh, what we can do right now is to create our uh, self-signed certificate and run our HTTPS server, right? We have a, mm, I have searched uh, in a topic of, of Stack Overflow that is, for me, it's one of the best um, topics uh, inside uh, OpenSSL uh, self-signed certificate generation. Okay, so I'll, I'll just be going to to this topic right here. Okay, and uh, uh, we have this configuration right here, which is uh, the OpenSSL uh, request.conf request uh, file configuration. Okay, so uh, this guy right here will serve as a base for our rec.conf. This uh, rec.conf has uh, some property fields that we should change. So this C is country. I am in Brazil, so I'll use BR. This state, I am in the southern part of Brazil in a state called Paraná. So I have, I used my, my state, uh, letters and my city my location is curitiba okay my company is not important but i'll just go to school that and the important stuff right here is this the cn should be your domain okay and the salt names are the alias for uh redirection and uh etc so we should always use when we are just generating for uh, dev purposes inside our local environment, we should always use a local host inside this, okay? So indeed, this is done. And what we should do now is just create, uh, using this command right here as a base, okay, to generate our certificate. So our, our base command would be this, but what it's telling us, I, well, I want to use this binary right here of OpenSSL to generate a X509 certificate. 
which a valid time. Uh, this guy is, sound, is saying that he wants to be uh, valid for two years. I want it to be valid for one year. The, the key type is of type RSA of uh, 2048 bytes. Uh, the key out is cert.key. Uh, the, the certificate out is cert.pam. And we are using, this is the, the key. We are using as config flag this rec.conf right here. And we are using SHA-256 of cryptography algorithm, right? So I'll just cut out this guy. I'll save this. I'll go to my iTerm. And uh, inside this security, okay, I'll just paste this command and uh, it fantastic. I <laughs> I have back when I have back when when uh, when level, and it showed showed me that you you need to be inside security folder. All right, so that's why we should be inside this folder. I will paste again, and we, it generates for me. I can just confirm, do a little confirmation, and yeah, it's it's right there. So the cert.key and cert.pam are here and the rec.conf is right here also. Okay, so now it should work, right? The HTTPS underscore port is uh, already being uh, created and proved, so yeah. Now we should, uh, it's, it is compiling, we, are, we declared, so it should run. I've just executed no dist main. Yep, it's running. So uh, it, it means that our certificate reader uh, has uh, worked because when we cannot read the data from this file and pass to this server, uh, immediately it will just throw an error and we will have the response, uh, normally uh, a path response error, it's, it's thrown on the, on the terminal. So this, this guy right here just tells us that uh, the certificate uh, generation and the certificate reading as a buffer has worked. I'll go to Postman and um, for this guy, I'll just do a, a simple request on HTTPS localhost at port uh, 5600, okay? So it's working, okay? And uh, now I should check for other request methods. Method not allowed, working also indeed and check for uh, unknown routes in zx.php dot get dot env yeah so guys uh, i'll just quit for now so uh, on next video we just quit, keep uh, just creating this stuff and improve the server uh and then some uh more information about Node.js, okay? Thanks.